Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over this kind of like floral edge beading. I don't know the actual name of what the bead, what the edge beading is called, but this is one of my favorite ones that I do. This is what it looks like on the back. Now as you can tell, I've got one earring here that's already completed. And then I've got one here that I've, I've started on. So what you're going to do, when you, get, when you get all of your bead work done and you have everything fastened down on the back and stuff, you're going to take your, um, your needle and your thread. And you want to take your needle and you're going to poke it up through the back all the way through the front. And you want to line it up as close as you can get it to your last row here. And then you're going to take, in my case, I'm going to go a red, a white, and a red. And that's going to make up my little petals around here, okay? And then you're going to pull this. And you're going to kind of lay, lay it up like this to get an idea of where it's going to go. And kind of hold it, hold your string down with your finger there so it doesn't roll away on you. And take your needle and you're going to go down from the front to the back. And pull that up. And it's going to lay nice, nice like that, okay? And then you're going to go up through those three beads that you just added. Bring your needle back up towards the front there. Pull that tight. Okay, like that. And then you're going to take your needle, go from the back to the front. And then you're going to go from the bottom of that, that, that first red bead on there. Okay, pull that up. Alright, like that. Okay, then you're going to add three of your main collar. My main collar on this is a transparent matte red. Okay, I've got three of them there. Then you're going to go to this last bead on the end of that little line. And you're going to go up. Okay. You're going to go through the bottom there. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then as you pull it, you'll see you're starting to get your little flower thing there. Okay. Now, you're going to take your needle through the back again. Okay. And this time when you poke it through, you want to go kind of at an angle a little bit. So that your needle is, comes up kind of right beside this last red bead on the end of your flower that you just added, okay? Alright, like that. I hope you can see that okay. And then you're going to start over. You're just going to repeat it. Red, white, red. Lay it up next to it. Kind of hold your string down with your finger there. Take your needle from the front to the back. Pull it. Bring it around. Go through the bottom of that last red bead. Pass it through all three of the beads you just added like so. Pull that up again. Okay. Go through the back to the front. Pull up, and then go through that first red bead on that particular flower thing, like so. Okay, pull it up. Pay close attention to your thread that it don't wrap around your other little flower things. Okay, so you've got it like that. Okay, then again, you're gonna add three of your main collar. All right, and go from here. Mom, the we, the, Mom, the, what, buddy? The tea bug is still getting cold with. Okay, I'll come get it in a second. Oh, and pull it go. down like that. Okay. Mommy, get, get ate by a oh my. Okay. Spider Let me put there. this on pause to go save a stink bug for my kids. Oh. All right. I had to go save a stink bug from getting eaten by a spider for my kids. Okay, so 
you've got this here and and then take your needle again up through the back at an angle again you want to go at an angle so that your needle ends up right beside of this last little flower bead okay so that should kind of give you an idea of how to do that and and this is what it should look like completed okay I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today and hopefully you'll join me for the next one and happy beading thank you